Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You know why I think we all love Thanksgiving and Christmas, and yes, even the 4th of July? Because all of those holidays remind us that living in gratitude is better than the alternative. Because a birthday says, we're all blessed to have you. 4th of July says, we're all blessed to live in America. Thanksgiving says, we're all blessed to have food and family. Christmas says, we're all blessed to have a savior who loves us and who rescues us. God has placed us on this planet, in this country, where we have clean air, clean water, where we have food, shelter, and we have the opportunity for employment. So I think we need to be thankful. Thankful that God has placed us in a country where men and women have sacrificed to provide us with great freedom. Freedom to worship God as we see fit. So for the rest of this year, please make gratitude your default. Because anger and disappointment, failure and frustration, they're always going to be a part of life. But don't let that become your default emotion. Don't be complacent and resign yourself to being a victim. I'm so sick of the whining and complaining and the oh woe is me attitude lately. Everyone's a victim, everyone's hurt, everyone's wounded, everyone's insulted and appalled. That is not a healthy, peaceful way to live, right? So let's not be that person. Instead, remind yourself every single day, I am so lucky. I am lucky to be alive. How lucky I am to have this life. How lucky I am to have this home or this car or this job. How lucky I am to have these children. How lucky I am to have these pets. How lucky I am to have my health to have access to pools and amenities and great food and the lake and our wonderful school and our even more wonderful teachers. How wonderful to have our first responders who live right in our neighborhood and can, can be at my home in a moment's notice. Thank you for trash collection twice a week. Thank you for street sweepers and a beautiful walk through the neighborhood. It takes effort to recognize how lucky we are because being grateful doesn't come natural to us. Instead, the media and TV, they train us to want more and to believe that we deserve more or that we deserve better. Tonight, when you go to sleep, your TV is gonna to try to sell you everything from new cars, new clothes, new toys, better food, faster internet, and even more powerful drugs that can take away your pain and make you fall asleep better. But let me let you in on a little secret. Your TV doesn't know you. The TV doesn't know what it means to be a human. The internet, I know you go there for research and answers, but it doesn't know what it means to be a human either. In fact, more and more, we are losing what it means to be a human. And we're allowing other people and big corporations to decide it for us. This winter at Walden Church, we're looking at the truth. Not that guy's truth or that company's truth, or not the truth that's being sold to me, we're looking at the only truth that matters, the God's honest truth. And we're gonna answer this Sunday what it means to be human, and we're gonna to learn to be grateful for it. This Sunday we have two services. We have one at 9.30, which is our traditional service where we sing hymns and we have a choir. We also have an 11 o'clock service, which is more contemporary, and that is when we have our worship team. We also have a children's program at that hour. We also have youth group at that hour. We even have youth group during the week. Every single Wednesday, you can send your child over on their bike or their skateboard, or they can walk, right? We're close, we're in the neighborhood. Send them over at 6 p.m. and we will even feed them dinner and we'll send them back to you in about an hour and a half. Hey, we want to be the church where you live. I'll see you soon.